them doing the sale. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Letitia and this is That's So Letitia. And to all of my new viewers, supporters, subscribers, welcome guys. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoy the content. And to all of my returning viewers, supporters, and subscribers, welcome back guys. As always, it is a pleasure to see you. And without further ado, let's jump right into this video. This is my absolute first time doing a Sephora sale uh, recommendation, Sephora spring sale, yeah, wish list, all of the things. So I am pretty excited to share some of the things at Sephora that excites me. So I have broken down into categories, right? This way we stay on track, we don't lose time, we get what we need to get out of this and we create our wish lists, right? Okay, so the Sephora savings event. It starts April 5th and it ends April 15th. Now there are three tiers of Beauty Insiders. Um, if you guys are not already a Sephora Beauty Insider, what are you waiting on? Get to it, it's free. And yeah, so there's three tiers. As I stated, it's absolutely free to join. And every time you go and you shop in the store, you give them your telephone number, which earns you points. You could use your points for sample size beauty products. And if you save up enough, I personally don't know anybody who has, but you can even like um, redeem them to attend some like really exclusive like beauty related events and things like that which is pretty cool but again it's free to join and yes yeah, so that's the insider and as you kind of spend your way up you can go all the way up to what is called rouge now in terms of the savings event so rouge begins first um, April 5th through April 15th. So Rouge members actually have nine days that they can save 20% off of their purchase. Then second, we have VIB, which their day begins April 9th through April 15th. They have six days to where they can save as well as inside, oh, I'm sorry, let me go back to VIB. So VIB gets 15% off starting April 9th through April 15th. And then we have the Insider, which um, their day also begins April 9th and it ends April 15th, but Insiders save 10%. And then get this guys, off of the Sephora collection in its entirety, you earn 30% off and that savings is from April 5th through April 15th and that one extends across the board regardless of your actual insider membership tier which is pretty cool um, and just so you know because I love a good sale I was just wondering it myself no discounts cannot be combined let me grab my handy dandy list. I kind of broke my recommendations up into categories. So we are first going to begin with complexion products. Now these are by no means all of the things that I love from Sephora, but just a few recommendations that if I were going to shop this sale, I would purchase. And some of these I actually am going to repurchase depending on you know if they have them in stock. So first item on my list is going to be a primer. I'm definitely going to purchase this full size one. Do not judge me. I received so many of these from a recent Rare Beauty event that I went to. I began using it and I absolutely fell in love with it, fell in love with the texture, the way that it lays my foundation, sets the tone for the rest of my makeup. Absolutely amazing. This is Rare Beauty's um, always an Optimus Pore Diffusing Primer. This one contains hyaluronic acid, green tea extract, and vitamin E. 
It is for normal, oily, dry, and combination skin. States that it blurs the look of pores and fine lines, boosts and extends makeup wear, and helps to fight shine all day. Definitely, this is one to pick up. And now we're going to move into the actual complexion product itself. For the sake of not making this video super long, I have included one foundation and one skin tint. Foundation, this is a newer one added to my collection. This is by Laura Mercier. This one is Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I love the fact that this one literally feels like you're not wearing anything. And with my skin being combination, I was afraid that wearing something such as this that is not directly saying matte, that you know my face would get shiny throughout the day and it just would not wear the way that I wanted it to. But I was mistaken this product wears like a feather you do not feel that you have it on it wears beautifully throughout the day for those of us who have mature skin this works fabulously on our skin so yes i definitely do recommend picking this one up during the sale and for skin tints I fell in love with this one. I did a video where I just could not stop talking about it. I made TikToks, I took pictures. It was a whole production around this skin tint because I had never had one that was this amazing. I'm speaking of the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. This one, oh my gosh. I'm going to link the review video up here somewhere. This one, guys, this one did what it needed to do. So this is now my second tube. I love this product. I actually even have it on now. We are going to move on to our concealers. First concealer is also a hydrating product. One thing I thought having a oily complexion that I needed to do was stay away from moisture or things that were stating that they hydrated. Complete opposite, I couldn't have been more wrong. With a oily or combination complexion, it actually means that your complexion is being depleted of hydration. So it's acting out by overproducing oil. So things that are hydrating are actually really, really good for those of us who have oily or combination complexions. You're welcome. Okay, so this concealer, this is the Fenty Beauty Wear Even Hydrating Long Wear Waterproof Concealer. Look at the little doe's foot applicator. Isn't that the cutest thing? So for this one, it states it's a 12 hour hydrating long wear concealer that comes in a wide range of medium coverage shades with the natural second skin finish. Prickly pear extract, or excuse me, prickly pear cactus extract. Um, we have Persian silk tree extract. Those are just some of the ingredients. I absolutely love this one because the skin up underneath your eye, it's very, very, very delicate, can't stress that enough. It's the thinnest layer of skin on your face. And after so long of applying the press powders and the press powders and the blushes and the concealers and all of the foundations, you can wear down that skin. And that's why a lot of creasing occurs because it gets wore down and dried out. But this states that it will actually keep it hydrated and then the second concealer that I would recommend during the sale is Huda Beauty Faux Filter Matte Buildable Coverage Waterproof Concealer. Now this one states it is a waterproof, fragrance-free, transfer-proof concealer with buildable medium to full coverage and vitamin E to visibly blur, brighten, and conceal. So the only color corrector that I would actually recommend um, for the sake of this video for the sale, it's going to be Huda Beauty's Faux Filter Color Corrector. Mm, this, this, this does what I needed to do. 
It's very thin, it's very lightweight, it's extremely pigmented, so be careful. I've had a few episodes where I've kind of walked out the house looking like a great pumpkin or a Cheeto under my eye. But yeah, this is absolutely amazing. I really, really love using this, um, this color corrector. And now moving on to our setting products. So all of these concealers and foundations and color correctors, we need something to set all of this with, right? So the first item I'm going to show you guys is actually the newest one that I have. It is by Laura Mercier. It is the Ultra Blur Talic Free Waterproof Translucent Pressed Setting Powder. Say that fast three times. That's a lot of words. So this one here comes in three shades. We have translucent, we have honey, and we have the one that I selected, which is medium deep. Laura Mercier is that brand and I've used their loose translucent setting powder for years. What made me think that this was going to be any different? Guys, I use this primarily here in my frown area or smile area. I prefer to say my smile area. And when I tell you there is no creasing throughout the duration of time that I have my makeup on, I absolutely love that for me. I put it here and sometimes up here where my frown lines are, no ma'am, no creasing whatsoever. Moving on to a loose powder. This is by Huda Beauty. This is Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. This one comes in, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten shades with the newest being Peach Pie that kind of just took us by storm. Actually, they bombarded us. They brought out Cherry Blossom and then Peach Pie like back to back, but I'm here for it. This one is in the shade Peach Pie. I love how it melts into your skin. It's extremely finely milled, which is why they even had the audacity to have a very fine net in this container that I am still fussing about, but it's so finely milled that the powder gets through the net that you can barely see through. Love that. So definitely recommend this one in whichever shade you would prefer. And now this we have, which is a press powder. This is the Easy Bake and Snatched press powder. This one is in Cherry Blossom Cake. I saw another YouTuber use this and she has a deep, beautiful complexion. Originally, I was terrified because I thought the shade was for a more fair complexion only. No, no, I have it on now. Yes, it is amazing for brightening your skin and it has the same formula as the loose powder so it melts into your complexion. And moving on to cheek products. So I have two brands of blush that I absolutely adore from Sephora. Um, not to say that I will not be shopping the sale to get more, but these are the ones that have been tested and approved by me. I live for a good blush product. So the first brand is Patrick Ta, and these are Major Headline Double Take Cream and Powder Blush Duos. I have She Is Vibrant, which is a coral shade. This is a bright pinky coral, according to Sephora. This is what it looks like. And then I have She's Wanted. Now this was the absolute first one that I bought from this brand, just because as I stated, I'm a blush girl and I would have been so upset had I got a blush that stated it was vibrant, but it didn't work well with my deep complexion. Oh baby, but this one set the tone for real. Very, when I tell you, very, very 
pigmented. Um, so yes, I would definitely suggest getting a blush from Patrick Ta. And the second brand of blush, this one makes me giggle every time I say the name. This is by One Size. It is the Cheek Clapper. <laughs> Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio Palette. This one comes in six shades and this is from Patrick Star. So this is the one that I have. For this one, I wanted to go more toned down. It doesn't mean that it's lacking pigment because it is not. This one is in the shade Rich Bitch. Something else that makes me giggle. The names that he named these are hilarious. And now moving on to what would be considered or labeled as a all-in-one face palette. I have two. These are both by Danessa Myricks. They are her groundwork face palettes. I have the Defining Neutrals, which was the first of her series. This palette, amazing. You get two textures. You get a cream or a pomade, a creamy pomade, and then you get a powder to set the pomade. And then she came out with the Blooming Romance. This one, if you're into berries and pinks and peaches and mauves, then this is for you. This one, learning curve, but you can use it for your brows, which is what I did. You can use this as a spot corrector, this shade here. You can use it as a eyeliner. You can use it as a concealer. And you can also use it as shadow. So, I mean, the palettes are definitely worth the coin, but why not get them on sale during the sale? It only makes sense. And moving on to lip products. This brand, I really, really love their liquid lipsticks because I am primarily a matte lip girl. So these give me amazing wear throughout the day. They don't feather. There's no cracking, especially if you exfoliate your lips um, before usage. So the brand I am talking about is Anastasia Beverly Hills. And these are just a few of the lip products that I have uh, from them. Um, I'm definitely a mauve kind of cool toned lip kind of girl. So that's what these three all represent. Definitely recommend picking up some of these if you are in need of a long wear pigmented, um, no crack, no feathering type of liquid lipstick. Moving on to skincare. So these are just a few items that I would definitely recommend to pick up from the Sephora sale. Um, this one is by Pharmacy. This is Whipped Greens Oil Free Foaming Cleanser with Moringa. I think that's how you say it, More. Moringa and Papaya. Um, I really like this one. It is foamy. There is no oil in it whatsoever. States a oil-free foaming cleanser that draws out dirt, oil, and impurities caused by pollution with green clay, papaya enzyme, and moringa. It's for a combination in oily skin. Um, it helps to combat oiliness, dullness, and enlarged pores. And to follow up with that one, also by Pharmacy, this is Pharmacy's Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner with Moringa and Papaya. So I first use the cleanser and then I follow up with the prime or the toner. And this one states a alcohol-free 2% BHA toner that deeply exfoliates, unclogs pores, and controls oil without overstripping skin. Also for a combination in oily skin. Okay, and last for skincare products, I have Topicals. Um, this is their Faded Under Eye Brightening and Clearing Eye Masks. These come in boxes of six. 
says a pair of cooling hydro gel under eye masks that fade the look of dark circles and discoloration so you can kick back and let your worries fade away it's for normal dry combination and oily skin it has caffeine kojic acid in our button I feel like I'm mispronouncing that, but we gonna get by. It's a plant extract that helps fade the look of excessive pigmentation. Oh, that's pretty freaking neat. So yeah, guys, I just wanna share, these are worth the coin. Um, for a box of six on their own, they're $22. But please don't be like me. When I first got them, I thought they were going to be wet like uh, so many other under eye masks that I had bought, that I was on the verge of taking them back because I thought that the ones I had were like old and dried out. No, they're sticky, they're not wet. So just keep that in mind. And last, I'm going to share with you people after I have a drink of water. This is a, this is a lot, right? Shopping or like planning to shop is a lot. It's a lot of work. Oh my gosh. Second to last, I'm going to share with you guys our fragrances. First is Fenty by Rihanna. This is such a sophisticated smell. It gives amber, marshmallow, um, a bit of what appears to be musk. I mean, this is a extremely long wear, long lasting scent, does not need much. I, although I have a lot left, I'm going to buy me another one of these just so I have it on deck. And what I would recommend, and this is part of my wish list, um, to accompany this one is getting the actual body cream in this fragrance. Oh my God. Mm. That smell is just so amazing to me. And the next scent, this is Rose Load by Boy Smells. This is a genderful fine fragrance. Now, little story about this one. I, up until a few months ago, I despised things that smelled like rose, roses. I went in Sephora and I saw the bottle and I thought the bottle was interesting. So I sprayed myself with it. Don't ask me why. I came home and I was just sniffing myself the whole evening. I could not do without this one. I had to have a same day delivery so I could own my very own. Baby, when I tell you I love this stuff, it doesn't smell like the traditional rose. Um, it's airy but you know it's there like it's it's amazing so those are my two fragrant recommendations and then last but not least are going to be my setting sprays so the setting sprays that i recommend are by charlotte tilbury this one is the airbrush flawless setting spray party all night stay all day I wish you would have said something like slay all day, but nevertheless, this is a very good um, setting spray that just kind of helps to melt everything onto your face after you have applied all of the powders and things. And then of course, On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. The setting spray that Beyonce's makeup artist during her Renaissance tour broke the internet with because we could not find this anywhere. This was like Lysol during COVID when they announced that this is what they used on Beyonce during the Renaissance tour. This one, I will say it's pretty unique because it is an aerosol spray but that doesn't mean that it doesn't do what it needs to do because it does and it is indeed waterproof. So guys, that concludes my first ever Sephora savings event recommendation video. Please let me know how you guys like this video. I would really, really like to know and let's chat about it in the comments. Are you guys excited for this sale? Do you have things planned that you're purchasing? Or are we on a no spend or light spend? 
I can identify with those. I need to be on one as well. Hmm. We'll see. But in any event, you all, thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoy putting it together. You all be well, stay safe, exercise, self-care. It is not a privilege, but a necessity. Check on your strong friends after you check in with yourself. And until next time, guys, we shall chat again soon.